integrate a walkie-talkie effect in Reaper, we'll go to Equalizer effect. So in your effects menu, type in EQ, and we are looking for built-in re-EQ effect. It should be in, Re in your Reaper program by default. So you're going to just click on it and you're going to drag it onto your audio track. Always expand it and uh, expand it downwards as well because it's just a weird way that it opens up quite small so you can't, um, you don't initially have access to the whole, the whole thing right here. And uh, I'll just go to the factory one this is probably how you're gonna see it as well and we only need three of these bands so this one is disabled already I'll disable the second one and now we have three of them so first one is low shelf so this is what we need and we will be cutting out the lower end frequencies because how walkie talkies work is they cut out uh, super low end frequencies and cut, they cut out super high frequencies and you are left with the scooped out like the the middle middle uh, range frequencies and these are mostly responsible for clarity in your order so that's why that's why walkie talkies focus on these frequencies because mainly they are made they are made so that your voice could be understood easily. So we will add a little bit in the middle range. We scooped out the super high end. We can scoop more of the low end. And you just can click play and uh, play and then just play around until you find the sound that you like. So I guess I'll play the original one first. Let's create a walkie-talkie effect in Reaper. 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 Yeah, and so you tweak it, tweak it around, and it already sounds like a walkie-talkie to me, but you can make, you can go one step further by adding some effects. So, if you go to YouTube and you'll need to have a YouTube channel. So it's not hard. If you don't have one, it's not hard to create it. And once you have your own YouTube channel, you'll have an access to audio library right here. And you can access by access it by going to YouTube studio and then audio library. So you're going to want to go to sound effects and all of these effects are royalty free so you can use them in any way you like and I like this particular one radio static and there's two of them but uh, this one at the bottom the longer one is the one I like so it sounds like this hissing radio static noise or i have already downloaded it but i'll just download it again or rather I'll, I'll click cancel since i have it right here but you'll you'll need to download this one and you can go back to reaper so this effect is already enabled it's been applied you can close it close it and we're gonna go to insert insert media file find the folder where you downloaded the radio static 
effect. So it's pretty long. I just don't need the initial few seconds because it involves it involves uh, turning the radio on sound and I can I guess shorten it a bit so it matches my audio I can zoom in now it's about right let's create a walkie-talkie effect in Reaper. All right, and we have the end product of our walkie-talkie effect. Also, if this file, if it sounds a bit too too much, or maybe it's it's not loud enough, you can adjust the volume right here, so it suits your audio better. All right, just move this knob around, and you'll you should easily figure it out. But that's it, that's how you create a walkie-talkie effect in Reaper.